hello i am aaron from support host welcome back to our channel today i am going to discuss about how to install maria db on windows 11 maria db server is one of the most popular open source relational databases it's made by the original developers of mysql and guaranteed to stay open source it is built upon the values of performance stability and openness some of the benefits of maria db are one support for large data operations and second it has faster anal- analytics performance Before we get started make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos all right let's get started in this video we are dividing the entire video into three sections the each sections are one install of mariadb on windows 11 second basic usage of mariadb third uninstallation of mariadb so in that first discuss the installation procedure for that first first thing is go to the mariadb website which is https://mariadb.com/downloads on our web browser from there under mariadb community tab click community server from the right side choose the latest stable version from the drop down menu available here i choose choose the version as 10.8.3 after that choose the operating system as ms windows because we are going to install mariadb on our windows 11 operating system after that click the download button available down below the windows msi package download will start automatically so wait until the download got completed now after the download got completed go to the downloads folder section and double click the mariadb msi installer file to start the mariadb mariadb installation after the double click we will be redirect to the mariadb welcome page now click on the next button and we should see the mariadb license agreement page click on i accept the terms in the license agreement option and click next now we should see the mariadb custom setup page here you can choose what features to install by default all the necessary features are installed with the exception of debug symbols we can also see the default install folder location from the setup page itself so since it's a fresh install we are fine with the default options and proceed with the click on the next button now we will see the mariadb root password set page here we can set the password for the root database user and specify whether root can access database from remote machines along with other options so here we only choose the option modify password for database user root and enter the desired login password in corresponding field we will also see the option to enable remote machine access for the root user and the folder location of mariadb data directory now click on the next button and you should see the mariadb instance property page in this page we have options like install as service defines whether the database should be run as a service if it should be 
run as a service then it also defines the service name it is recommended to run your database instance as a service as it greatly simplifies the database management so choose this option now choose the option enable networking this defines whether to enable tcp ip which is recommended and which port mariadb should listen listen to if security is concerned you can change the bind address parameter post installation to bind to only local address additionally we also have the option to set innodb buffer pool size and page size during the install itself so after defining our preferred options and click on the next button and we should see the mariadb ready to install page at this point all installation settings are collected and click on the install button to start the mariadb installation and the installation is finishing now usually it will take some time to complete so wait until it got completed once the mariadb has been installed we should see the following page as that shown in the screen click on the finish button to finish the installation and at this point the mariadb is installed on our windows 11 this completes this section now let's move to the second section the second section is basic usage of mariadb on a windows 11 so in this section first let's see how to access the mariadb client for that click on windows start menu icon now click on the mysql client to access the mariadb from the recently added section we will be asked to provide the mariadb root password after providing the mariadb root password you will see the mariadb interface which will just look like a windows cmd here in this interface we can run the mariadb sql queries for example to create a mariadb database named testwindb issue the sql query like create space database space testwindb semicolon so let's try to execute the command and wait until it got completed also the sql query like create user with the name db user at the local host identified by in the single quotes define the password this sql query will create a database user named db user here you can also replace the password field with your own desired login password so let's try to execute it in the terminal and wait until it got completed now to grant all the privileges for the created user to the database we created earlier we need to run the sql query like grant all privileges on testwindb dot star to db user at the local host identified by in the single quotes give the password so let's try to execute it in the terminal and wait until it got completed additionally we can check the installed mariadb version from the sql interface by running sql query like select version so let's try to execute it in the terminal and wait until it got completed and this select version command sql query will show the installed mariadb version from the command line these are few basic commands which we can use with mariadb for our database usage 
now in order to start and stop the mariadb service we can easily done that from the windows service manager so first open the windows run and type services.msc which will open windows service manager from there locate the service named mariadb and use the stop restart options to manage our mariadb install service and this completes the basic usage of mariadb section now let's move to the next section the next section is uninstall of mariadb in this section we will see how we can uninstall a mariadb package from the windows 11 for that first open the windows control panel and from that click on the programs and then uninstall a program option now from the installed programs list choose the mariadb and click the uninstall option available a new mariadb uninstall screen will appear and from that click on the next button to continue with the uninstall and in the next screen choose remove on the next screen choose remove data option now on the next screen click on the remove button to completely remove the mariadb from your system wait for few minutes to complete the auto uninstall once the uninstall got completed we will get a new screen with the finish option click on the finish button to exit from the mariadb uninstall window okay this completes the uninstall of mariadb from windows 11 section so in this video guide we discussed how to install mariadb on windows 11 we also explained how to use mariadb with example sql queries finally we also explained how to uninstall the mariadb from our windows 11 i hope this video is informative thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you like the video and also leave your thoughts at the comment box see you soon on next video